Hey guys, you're watching the tutorial on the VI editor. After watching this tutorial series, you would be able to use the VI editor comfortably for all your programming needs. Please do watch the previous video if you have not. You can find the link in the video description. So let's get started. So we just saw the functions of zero and dollar that is to move the cursor to the beginning of the line and to the end of the line. Uh, so I told you about the insert mode. So uh, right now the editor is in the command mode. Uh, I can come to the insert mode again by also hitting, hitting the A key, A for append. But the difference is that uh, when you enter the insert mode by hitting the A key, the cursor moves ahead by one character. So previously the, so right now the cursor is in the uh, character I so after hit, hitting the A key that is for appending uh, it moves one step forward so this is the function of append so you can move the character I mean move the cursor one character ahead you can also append directly to the end of your line uh, let's say right now uh, the cursor is in the beginning of the second line you can directly uh, start appending text to the end of the line without entering the i key without typing insert you can do this by directly typing shift and a so what shift and a does is it uh, changes the editor from the command mode to the insert mode and it also moves the cursor from wherever it was to the end of that line so this would come in handy when you want to type text text to some to the end of some line. Let's say we are in the seventh line right now. So we want to import something else here. And what I do is I just type shift and A. So now the editor comes to the insert mode and it also uh, moves the cursor to the end of the line. So now I can type something else, uh, something else that I want to in, want to import and I save it. So I can save it by hitting escape colon w enter so if it's if it's the if, if the editor is in the command mode you don't have to hit uh, escape so you directly type colon followed by your character so we just saw the use of the uh, append functionality so now let's take a look at scrolling up and down so this is one important feature that you need in order to scroll uh, down you hit control and F so when you hit control and F uh, the cursor comes down by a complete screen uh, so let's say uh, the last line number is 88 so when I hit control F it comes to the end so the cursor is at the uh, line 87 so you can scroll up by hitting control and B so now uh, you just saw the I mean the the editor scrolled up the file by just a few lines so you can do again you do it again control B to scroll up again so I hope this is clear to you control F and control B to scroll uh, up and down so then uh, yeah let me show you how to open tabs in the vi editor so opening uh, multiple uh, programs at the same time uh, is very essential uh, so let's do it. it it can be done by the by pressing colon and typing the keyword tab new space followed by the name of the file so let's open our uh, my file uh, over here so my file dot pi so once you hit enter it opens another tab so you're able to see two different scripts open now uh, and you can go to the previous uh, code by hitting G T. 
so let's uh, I'll try opening another uh, file colon tab new uh, my file two dot pi so this is the empty file so now uh, the the file my file two dot pi is active if I want to go to the file my file dot pi what I do is I type G and T so when you hit G and T the editor uh, moves to the next tab to in order to move to the previous tab again that is if I want to come to the file my file 2.py again I hit G shift T so I hope you understand the difference between GT and G shift T GT uh, uh, moves in the right direction G shift T uh, moves the uh, uh, most of the tab which was to the left of the uh, current tab so to come to the file uh, test sp underscore image I hit G shift T again so we just saw how to open uh, uh, different programs in the editor by tabs and about navigating between the tabs and one more thing is you can also let's say uh, you want to compare uh, two different codes uh, open in the editor side by side uh, or one at the top and one at the bottom so this can be done by using the split command so what you do is from the command mode you just type colon followed by split followed by the name of the file let's say uh, I'll open the other file demo loris uh, so uh, you just saw that I, I did not file the I did not type the full name of the file I just typed demo and I hit the tab key and it completes the entire name of the file so once I press enter uh, I'm going to have uh, the screen split into two halves one at the top and one at the bottom so let's take a look at that so yeah uh, at the top you have the file that I just opened demo loris underscore back dot pi and at the bottom I have the previous file which was open uh, that is test sp image dot pi so now the control is in the top half in order to move the control to the bottom half what I do is I just type control w and I hit the lower arrow so to go to the I mean to change the control to the upper half I again hit control W followed by the upper arrow so control W is used to change the control from either the, the top half or the bottom half and you hit along with control W you also hit the either the top arrow key or the bottom arrow key so I hope this is clear to you uh, so let's quit the file uh, and in order to uh, open, I mean, in order to divide the screen into two halves, uh, I mean, one to the left and the other to the right, you type uh, V split. So V split vertically sp splits the screen. So probably for coding, this uh, vertical split would be handy more than the, the the horizontal split so again as we saw before uh, you change the control by hitting control W and then the right arrow in this case previously we used the top and the bottom arrow so now uh, we used control W and the right arrow and in order to go to the uh, left side half I press Control W followed by the left arrow. I hope this is clear to you. So we saw uh, opening multiple programs by means of tabs and then dividing each tab into, I mean, uh, splitting each tab uh, so as to see uh, multiple programs at the same time by using split and V split and I also showed you how to scroll up and scroll down that is by using the control F and the control B command so uh, 
this control F and control B works both in a Mac and a PC that is uh, both in the Mac OS and in Linux so it's you press control even in a Mac I just wanted to make this clear thanks for watching guys the remainder of the tutorial is in the next few videos you can find the link in the video description hope you like the video uh, give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel take care